Is the next big thing that heavy hit a DJ Wala? You're now rocking with Creative Control on Walking Movie TV. Tuesday right here, 8 o'clock. Shout out to everybody that's watching right now on YouTube. I'm getting a lot of people hitting me up saying they're watching the show right now via YouTube. So shout out to everybody that's listening and watching on YouTube or listening and watching that non-fiction radio app. If you got the app, you can see us and hear us, you know? Right? The cameras is good. They can see us, Chris? Thank you, Chris. That's, I appreciate that. Like I said, man, DJ Wild we do this each and every Tuesday, 8 o'clock. Tonight we got a guest. We got a DJ Frosty in the building. I know some of y'all were seeing the flyers and wasn't really believing that he was going to come through. I was a little skeptical. I didn't know if he was going to show up, but the guy is here now. Um, let's make sure his mic works. Make sure you're good. I'm pretty sure you know how to um, project the and all that, right? Check. If you want to use the headphones, you can use them. Put them on. Can the camera see Frosty too? Mm -hmm. Alright, alright. So if y'all have any questions for Frosty, man, um, hit me up on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, at DJ Wala, DJ W-A-L-L-A-H. Now, we all know Frosty from the music, you know, Ride That Wave, um, the movies, all, all the songs that we've been playing, Flocka, how many, what other songs you got? We got a lot of songs, right? We got a nice little catalog. Yeah. But as of recently, some people that, that didn't know about your music knew about you because of certain things they were seeing on social media, certain things that they seen on TV, um, the Help Me Howard situation and all that. Can you explain to the people your version? Because I, I don't know if people ever got a chance to hear your version of what happened with the Help Me Howard. Okay, um, the, my, my mic on? Yeah, you good. All right. Um, the truth is, we're going to tell the truth because this is uh, not fishing and, um, First of all, I want to thank y'all, you know what I'm saying, for not having like a million people in here. Because mm -hmm. I, was, I was going to show up, but I'm like, you know what? It's Wala, Ray, you know, Ray, my people, Wala, my people. I know we haven't talked in like two years, but still got love for you. So the truth is, it was a party, 2012. It started since 2012. It was for two ladies, two young ladies. They gave me a deposit. I charged them 500. I'm giving the prices, I'm giving everything the truth. I charged them 500. <clears throat> they gave me a 150 deposit, $200 deposit, $200 deposit. The party got canceled. It didn't get canceled, it got postponed to the following Friday. Because the father got arrested on whatever happened, whatever, I don't know. So, I couldn't make the party. So I sent somebody else, and plus I took $100 off the event. So she was mad at that. Which is wasn't my fault. So she this said, lady, this lady from Melbourne, Howard. These ladies, for, yeah, the ladies that claim they had, uh, they say it was like 15 kids, and they say it's something about Target. Mm -hmm. First of all, I don't know nobody that owned a Target, and why would I tell anybody ten thousand dollars? I got my own family. Why would I give money to your kids? If, I, if they pay ten thousand dollars, I'm giving money to my family. No, so I'm not gonna give money to your kids. My family can use that money. So everything started in 2012. They, it was a party they booked for. I was supposed to do the party. They postponed until the following Friday. Couldn't do it. Sent somebody else to do it. She said I ruined her daughter's life because I wasn't at the Street 16. Now with the teenagers, we do the teens. We control the teens. The teens really love, you know, they love, they love me. Like they love, they really got support for me. They by my side, the whole team market. And it was really important for me to be at that girl's party. Her parents pushed it to the next Friday. I couldn't make it because I was booked already. So she felt as though that I ruined her daughter's life. So the threat started was, okay, you want my daughter's life, I'm gonna ruin your life. I said, okay, cool. So since 2012, she's been trying to do things like, you know, she been trying to get help me out. She been trying to get the news and all this stuff since 2012. So I've been testing her and everything. Oh, do your thing, do your thing. Now, I don't have that phone no more. We went to court and everything. Went to court, I was in court like five times from this. It, it stressed me, it took a lot. You know what I'm saying? It, it killed me, like it was. Cause at the, end of the, at the end of the day, look, I'm a great guy. I'm a, I'm a good person. While like, I you know that I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a good guy. You know what I'm saying? People see this right here happening. Oh, Frosty, a bad, he bad. And, uh, you can't trust him, he do this, he do that. Okay, I let the people talk, they talk, but at the end of the day, I'm a good guy. And that story was really made up. The truth is what happened was, I couldn't make the party. So she was gonna get, she did whatever she had to do to ruin my life. 
I went to court five times, we had a trial. And the first two days of the course, I was, I didn't have no, no, I didn't have no proof of nothing. She didn't have proof, so she was pulling up like a contract that my name was forged on. The only contract I signed was the party contract. And I felt, I found that, I, I really couldn't find that in my email because I didn't have my old email no more. So I was losing on that. So I guess there's a prosecutor, a public defender, whoever the dude is, he was on, he was on my side. He said, look, if you could get a, <clears throat> an old cell phone bill from the number you have at that time, if you could get the account number, the account number that they give you, and take it to the carrier that you have, they could give you all the information on your phone, what happened. So that's what I did. I found, the, by God's grace, I found a bill with that number, and they pulled up everything. Everything. So the fourth time I went to court, I bought that whole package like this. I got the Texas and everything for me and this girl talking. No target. No 15 kids. Uh, she got to 150 from 15 kids. None of that. None of that. The best way, the best thing to bring the person down is through kids. Like, it made me look so bad out here. Like, I know people go through stuff and you know, like, I'm not gonna sit here and lie, like, uh, yeah, I did owe a couple people money, but it was never because of stuff like that. All right, so let's, let's just stop right there, pause right there. Um, in order for, because when I, when I post a flyer, a lot of people hit me up, and they say, yo, in order for us to begin to forgive Frosty, he gotta just go ahead and admit some of the things he did. Yeah. Now, with that being said, even if this target thing is false, even if it's not true, it's believable because so many people are like, yo, I was in a certain, like a similar situation where Frosty did something to me. So I believe he did that to these kids. And for help me out with to come to his house and for him to look out the window and not come outside and talk about it, he looked guilty. Wasn't he in the house. Guilty. Wasn't in the house. That wasn't you in the window. Because they said that's Frosty. Play the video right now. If you see a person come to the window, please. That play the video. Of, that was one of the questions they told me to ask you. Was that Frosty and asking him? Frosty was window? never in the house. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I never was in that house. If I was in the house, I would have came downstairs, follow me on Instagram, Frosty, I would have, I would, that's public TV. I would have did everything my power would have get, yo, follow me, shot all the single ladies out there. I would have been acting a fool. You know what I'm saying? I'm from, I'm from East Orange. I'm from North, whatever. But I was not in that house and I did not open up no damn window. I was not in the house. If everybody go to that video, please show me when, the, when, the, when somebody peeked out the window. Show me when curtains moved. Show me something. Nothing happened. No, I was not in the house. And I saw all the little videos and all that stuff. Like, I was laughing at it. Give me curse. Yeah, you curse. This shit was funny. <laughs> like, the antidote, don't you open up? All that shit was funny. I was laughing. I'm not, like, I'm a, I'm a human being. Like, the shit was funny to me, like... Frosty, I mean, you know what, and, and Chris can vouch for me. When we do this radio, we keep it 100% real. And as you're talking to me, I'm getting text messages and DMs saying, yo, Frosty's a motherfucking lie. I'm not lying to you. I'm looking at my phone right now. Look. It's artists that are hitting me up saying, yo, if he's not lying, why do you keep changing his number? Why do you keep changing his address? Why is he using fake emails? Where's the money at that he took? And he told me I was going to be on 106 and Park. Okay. Where's the money for Power on the Five? The magazine interviews. Where's my Jim Jones verse? Where's the deposit for the party that he's supposed to do? He never showed up. Okay. Well, okay. So if the target stuff is not true, what about all the artists and all the people that claim you took money from them okay. and, you, and you changed the number or you just went MIA on? Never changed my never changed the number. Okay, I didn't. If I like my phone went off, I ain't paid a phone bill. If you don't pay the phone bill for a certain time, you go back, they change. But let's go time. back. If you're taking money from people to do something and you don't come through with it, where's the money? Why don't you pay your phone bill with the money? Where's the money going? No, I, you know, I, I was, you know, I, had, I was taking care of some shit. But we, if we, so we, talk, so, about, we, talk, we had to talk about in order for everything. To give you, or in order for people to begin to forgive you for the stuff you've done, you have to admit something. Because right yeah, now, people think it's that thing. No, no, no. So, so they, 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 I, you don't got to give me specific names on or what times and dates and money and no, all that. It happened. You know, it happened. I did promise some people, you know what I'm saying? But shit, shit didn't fall through. You know what I'm saying? I had people that I, I was connected with at the time. Y'all need you to hold me down with this. They didn't do the shit. They wanted more money, so at the so time I took the money. You, why don't you give the people their money back so they can leave you alone? Okay. Why, why dip off on them? Because now when you dip never, off, it looks crazy. Never dipped off. You can't, you can't really say you never dipped off when, when people are DMing me right now saying, 
And I, I don't even want to put nobody's name out there, but they're saying, yo, Frost is supposed to give me a spin somewhere, and he told me this DJ mother's died. Now, this DJ don't mess with you. It's in my phone. And that DJ is looking like, yo, my I don't know what you're No, you told somebody that their yeah. mother died. What? And now this person mad at you. South Jersey no. DJ. You supposed I to say that their, their, their mother died? No, I would never go that far. I would never go that far. Never. Never. Now, with everything else I know, like at the time I was going through something. I was going through something. Like I got, I got shot, just like my life is like really got. You got shot three years before that, Frosty. Three years later, people are claiming you took money from them, you disappeared, you never gave the money back. Why not just give the money back and then nobody be looking for you? Nobody be mad at you. Right. So wh right, where did the money go? If your phone get cut off and you got all this money, where did the money go? Well, Who you? Money went to stuff I had to, I had to, that I needed. People are asking me now, but was the money going to drugs? Some. I was, I was like, when I got shot, I got, they was giving me purpose set, I got to do the purpose set. We gonna keep it real, we gonna keep it 100. I got to do the two purpose set when I had got shot. And then to the point that I needed it bad, like it was, I needed them, I needed them to the point like, I couldn't, in my day couldn't, I couldn't have a good day. My body was fucked up. A basic, a basic addict, you needed the fix, you needed it in order to go through the day, you needed it. See, I, I don't really know much about drugs, and I, I definitely don't know about Percocets. Is that an expensive habit? Is that an expensive drug? Oh, it gets expensive because of your tolerance scope. Your so, tolerance all right, so if, if you've been taking one and one was so, $25, I don't know, after a while you needed two, then you needed three, then you needed four. four. Then it goes up, then it goes up, it gets to the point that I was taking ten. That sounds like a lot. I don't even know if that's so, a lot or not. But it was still the problem taking ten like three times a day. I was fucked up. I was that fucked up. And I hit it to my it was like I ain't with nobody like, you know. Even when I was hanging with you, I like I ain't with nobody like everybody like I ain't with nobody I ain't with nobody like, yo damn this nigga Foxy like it was my life was going down so bad, like no, I did emotional, man, cuz... No, uh, it's alright, but like I said, I know you want to be able to walk around, you want to do it because people look at you a certain way, but people can't begin to forgive you if you don't just admit to some of it. And as we're talking now, I just get another text, and somebody say, yo, you're still lying. I'm not... As, as I, we're sitting 